Charles. Welcome. Um, how did you react when you first got the call up about Design Investor 2008? Um, it was a really interesting problem to solve, I think, because um, I've, I've done a lot of work in American comics. And having lived here, you can probably tell from my accent that I am not from the UK. Um, I was very aware of 2000 AD and the legacy of the title and the history and the kind of like the way that the, 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 the weekly magazine is embedded in, in English pop culture. So to kind of come in and, and look at how can we kind of revitalize part of that title to, to like, you know, repackage it for a new audience for a different market as well. Um, that became a really interesting challenge for me because I think it is such an idiosyncratic brand visually as well. Um, especially in the 90s, you've had people like Steve Cook and Ryan Hughes really putting their stamp on the title, which still kind of reverberates today and is kind of really seeped into kind of every 2000 AD publication. So I think for me, it was... I want to put my own stamp on it as a kind of little marker within what will hopefully be a very long history of 2000 AD, but at the same time do something, and I think that's something that we discussed as well, that it has to have some kind of um, uh, connection mm -hmm. in the through line with the history of the, of, of the book. So I was kind of looking at, at, at examples like key issues of certain time periods to kind of see how the design evolved. And the thing that really struck me was that period in the 90s where they really started to play with different typography and like specific fonts for like, you know, different subsections within the magazine and like how the editorial pages looked like that. And it was kind of evolving on, a, on an almost monthly basis. Like they'll do a few weeks with a certain look and then they'll add things to it. And I think that that kind of energy was what I wanted to kind of translate into into a, a kind of like a, a contemporary package. Like if we take that idea and approach and just kind of follow that line through, what would that look like in a, in a kind of a more self-contained standalone package? You designed the vertical and horizontal mm -hmm. layouts for this that both look incredible. How important is that adaptability kind of to you in your designs? It's, it's really important because, I mean, from experience, and, and you'll know this as well, is like the way that comics and, and like periodicals work is like, not, you can't always line up all the different steps perfectly. So sometimes you'll design something and then you get the artwork later or vice versa. Usually there's always going to be like a slight mismatch in terms of in terms of where the art is going to land and where the design and the trade dress needs to go. So I think having something that can work in different formats gives everyone a lot more flexibility to to adapt to that and to make sure that throughout the the like you know the six volumes that we're doing that everything looks as it is intended to look rather than having to do like some kind of quick fixes to to adapt to either or.